How about it, everybody? Big Bruce here doing a quick video from Big Bad Small Cars. And, uh, man, I've been enjoying everybody's uh, What Grails Mean to You videos uh, from Power Wheels. Uh, dude, great idea. Absolutely enjoying it. Man, a lot of great cars and stuff, and it's always fun to enjoy it. Uh, I haven't been necessarily nominated yet, at least that I've, I've seen. I'm, I'm kind of out of uh, whack on the videos, but I want to go ahead and do one anyways. Man, I really dig the whole idea of it. And uh, so let's just start it off. Uh, for me personally, man, grill pieces are uh, a lot of the cars that are nostalgic. Uh, the pieces that bring me back to my childhood. Uh, pieces like a lot of you and stuff that are uh, made for me. Uh, you know, those those things where people take a piece of themselves and they make them. I've sent a few of my customs out to a couple of different guys and uh, fixed to be sending out a bunch more. And uh, it definitely takes a lot of time and effort to make those pieces. So we... Uh, definitely tend to cherish those pieces a lot of us and stuff and hopefully everybody that gets a custom from anybody even if it's just a wheel swap uh, the amount of time that just goes into stuff and the creativity uh, but let's go ahead and show off some pieces uh, some of my favorite pieces that I have and some of my most important ones this came from Vic this is a wheel swap that he did for me this thing is absolutely beautiful Love this casting. Love the car. So sick with those wheels. Another piece that I got from Vic here recently. I sent him my uh, very first treasure hunt, a custom van that I did for him. That was a little on the crazy side. Uh, and then I sent him uh, my very first custom that I ever did where I turned a doozy into a rat rod. He sent me this bad boy. I just love the way he stained it all up. You see where the exhaust is pouring down it. Kind of looks like, you know, that it's rusted where somebody's arms hanging out the window and all the detail on the engine and everything. The sick wheels. This thing's just a beautiful piece. Absolutely love it. Those things are things that I don't care what you're trading, they're not leaving. Uh, another piece that a lot of people are crazy for uh, Wade Fordsman made this for me. One of the pieces that he sent me is custom pieces. I've had a bunch of people on Instagram and everything else want this piece, and some of my buddies locally have wanted this. Ben, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people like that a lot. Not for trade, man. I wouldn't trade this for anything. Love this piece. I send a uh, Wade uh, my uh, second custom I ever did. Uh, it was a uh, one of the McDonald's cars actually. One of the little Ford Richards, a Ford guy like me, so, you know, he sent me these back. And this little Chevy Steps I pick up all murdered out. It's got the uh, Matchbox Premier tires, man. I just love this thing. Absolutely love it. I got a record it sits on. Great car. And the rest of my pieces I would consider as a grail are those pieces that bring me back to my childhood. Uh, unfortunately, I lost all my childhood cars and stuff. Uh, I did collect and everything, and just uh, the way the life turned out is that they weren't meant to stay with me, man. But I've been blessed enough uh, by some of the, my fellow collectors and stuff, and, uh, and some of my uh, family members, mostly of all my mom, uh, and then just getting lucky uh, hunting uh, to find a, a few of my uh, very important pieces. I got a few more that I'm actually hunting, and it's the fun of the hunt, finding the stuff. And uh, sometimes you get surprised, you open up a box from somebody, and you got some great stuff in it. But one of my most nostalgic pieces. Everybody that watches my videos knows that I love these old Ford deliveries. I'm not exactly sure what my variation was, but the story behind this and what makes it so special is I loved my Hot Wheel tracks, me and my kid brother when we were kids. And I launched one of these, they're getting heavy, from my Hot Wheels track into my mom's fish tank put a bunch of rubber tip bands over on the Hot Wheels launcher, pulled it back and sent it flying and it flew. Oh, did it fly right into a fish tank. So needs to say she liked to beat the hell out of me. I lost the track and well, my favorite car went to the trash. So I picked this one up out in Pigeon Forge, man. Blister pull. Paid a little bit for it. Not too bad. But uh, I had to have it. I didn't care what the price was. It was just minty fresh. Then I figured out there's a bunch of variations on it. And I've not really been after the variations. My mom one day we was doing some eBay shopping, and you guys watch my videos, you guys know, man, my mom's uh, one of my biggest fans. 
on here, man, this has been my deterrent from an old lifestyle into being healthier and everything else, and my reward to myself for being good to myself. And uh, she thought it'd be great to buy me the car back. So she got me this variation. It's got a wheel variation and the tampo. So I was really stoked to get this from her. So I don't launch it off Hot Wheel Tracks near her, car, her uh, fish tanks anymore. She don't even have any fish tanks now. She never got another one. I guess uh, that fixed her from that. And then Vic from the box he sent me the other week sent me this one. And, uh, I love Vic's videos, man. I've always been a big fan of his videos. Uh, back when I first got started into this, him and Pooch Man uh, were some of the first videos I ran across. The other one would be Paul Wooden. Love his collection, too. But it's a variation also. There's a real variation on it, and the tampos are different. Absolutely so stoked. I love those pieces. You could trade me... A truckload of supers and stuff. I'd laugh at you. This piece will never leave my possession. Another one, and I've owned some Z cars and Dotsons and stuff, would be this piece. I also bought this in Pigeon Forge. And I was so happy to find it. And I did have the yellow one. I had uh, a white one too and a red one. I'm hunting those. Uh, I'd like to find all of these uh, variations. But I, I ran the wheel slap off this thing when I was a kid, man. I love this car. I even went out and searched for this car as an adult. And uh, I bought a white T-top. So, I always want to get me a, a hard top and paint it up and make it look like the Hot Wheels. Uh, still uh, something I might do in the future. Then, this was one of my other ones. This is a very important car for me. I, uh... I don't have my biological father anymore, man, and uh, there's very few cars I can remember him buying me as a kid and stuff, and I had them all, and unfortunately they were lost, and this was one of my favorite cars. So, uh, losing this one was, was was really rough, too, but finding it was just absolutely outstanding. It's in next to mint condition, a few flea bites here and there. I paid a stupid price for it. I really did. I overpaid for this thing. I think I paid like 10 or 15 bucks for it. Uh, dealer had me so I was really happy to find that and then a really good friend that I've made uh, through the YouTube videos and everything and Instagram my buddy William Witter's brother he sent me this bad boy and it's absolutely mint I fixed to make him out some sick sick customs buddy I love this thing still these things sit at the top of my uh, matchbox display on the top of the shelf right behind me I've got an old hauler and stuff, and it's got all these variations on it that I have. Those ones mean the absolute most to me. There's a few pieces that I am after and stuff. Uh, unfortunately, I, didn't, I don't got a printer or nothing like that. And I was going to go to Walmart, grab some pictures. I just didn't get a chance to uh, build Kubota tractors from the uh, time I come home. Very much left. And uh, But one of the pieces, actually, I found out uh, through some of my buddies here that it's a... Uh, hold on, bear with me. It's a... Uh, uh, an Ertl. It's a T-Bird blue. It's got the front tilting hood on it and stuff. Uh, I don't have the video of it, but it's on my Instagram and stuff. stuff. Uh, that piece is uh, one of the first pieces I can remember having as a kid. I ran that thing to the, you know, I scraped half the roof off. It was almost through the metal and stuff and ripped off the hood and the wheels were wore out. Great car. Love it. I'm going to find that car. Uh, and then another one that's a, a holy grail piece to me, man. You guys know I'm a Torino fan, uh, and it's the green, like the olive green Torino Super with the racing tampos on it. That thing's killer, dude. I'm not going to pay no crazy prices for it. I can't afford to. I'm single dad. Uh, and then another piece that uh, I absolutely love is also another Torino, the Boulevard uh, Torino. Not nothing super crazy or nothing, but just some pieces for my Torino collection I don't have that one day I will find fun of the hunt. But uh, I appreciate everybody watching, man. I'm going to go ahead and nominate my three people. Uh, one guy that I, of course, would love to see his holy grail, and a lot of you I know probably would, is Pooch Man. Come on, Pooch. Let's see him, buddy. Uh, always love it when you get your videos out there, brother. Uh, another one would be Patrick J. Uh, man, I know you got a nice collection of stuff, man. You comment on my videos a lot, brother. I would love to see what your grail pieces are and what they mean to you. Uh, another one, William Witters, brother. 
let's see what you got. Come on, buddy. Uh, I'd like to see what your stuff is and what, what they mean to you, too. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't sent you my customers yet, but they're, they're coming. They're going to be sick, buddy. I've already started drawing some of them out. Uh, and then there's one more guy, man. I know you're supposed to do three, but I know he's on the road driving trucks and everything right now, man. But it'd be uh, David over there, Diecast Toys Plus. Uh, buddy, when you finally get to get back home and everything, man, it don't matter. A lot of guys are enjoying these videos. When you make it, people are going to watch it. So uh, let us see what your Holy Grail pieces are out of your kids, your, you and your kids' collection. And uh, everybody, man, do me a favor. Leave comments, man. Subscribe. Go check out my Instagram. Uh, I'm going to repost the picture of my my Holy Grail piece from my childhood. Uh, and then, as always, take it easy.